Mr. Kimmelman, doesn't that give Comcast both the power and the incentive to manipulate Internet traffic in its favor? And didn't we see a preview of that with the recent deal Comcast struck with Netflix? Uh, Senator Franken, um, if you go back to all the big numbers that Mr. Cohen had and Professor Yu had about the many myriad interconnections of the Internet all around, um, all accurate in that space, but when you get close to the home, to the customer, the last mile, the ports that have to bring in the video traffic, one player, two players, sometimes more, hardly ever, and one of them is Comcast combining with Time Warner. So that part of the market is quite concentrated. There are, as Professor Yu says, a lot of changes going on in the internet. There are a lot of different kind of interconnection relationships. Um, what we also see is a lot more proposals for usage-based pricing that wasn't there before, data caps. Um, Can you explain what those are? Just that instead of getting a flat fee for eat as much as you want for your internet usage, that above a certain level, your prices go up. Um, but, or but that you pay per certain amount of usage and unless there's no it's flat a, fee. Unless it's a Comcast product like Xfinity. So there are some products that are dealt differently with by cable companies and um, under a different set of, of standards and arguably preferential to what a competitor has. So there are dangers when the market is concentrated at that point of interconnection of ways to manipulate. And this is where I go back to my, my analogy of an octopus that has all these tentacles out there. There is net neutrality, there's a last mile connection, but then there are the different pricing schemes and then there are the different interconnection and peering arrangements. There are many ways in which any a number of tentacles could be used to favor one product over another if it's financially advantageous to that broadband provider with market power, which would be Comcast Time Warner. 